y'all it is monday december the 22nd 2020 and um we are going to huh don't interrupt my intro but anyways hey y'all how y'all doing we are about to go to the coca-cola museum so um my husband just paid for parking so now we waiting on him to go put the parking pass on the car and then we're gonna walk off the street to the um, Coca-Cola Museum. Um, yesterday was a, a very pretty good day. Um, as y'all saw in our previous vlog, or if not, come over here, Roger. Um, y'all go check that video out. And don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe this video. And um, yeah, I'm gonna vlog back when we, I'm gonna start black. I'm gonna start back vlogging when we get in the museum. Oh, uh, that's the aquarium. We came there on the first time we came, and it was very nice. Now, we about to be at the Coca Cola Museum. And it's so cold. Yup, it's windy. And it blew my hair all over. Oh, look at him playing the. Love me. Yeah. You terrible. You can't leave your mama. Y'all leaving me. I need my selfie stick because holding this camera like this is in the way. Or holding this phone like this is in the way. Yeah. This is what the outside of it looks like. Is I'm vlogging this because it's a lot of people that never been here, so I'm doing it for the people. They want to see where we going. Yeah. What? That's the that's the sound of the soda opening. Crazy. Like only you would think of something like that. Coca-Cola, so there you go, Reggie. And now I get a Sprite. Well, you can put it back and get it, Janaya. Come on. Thank you. bottles. These are from our 1996 Summer Olympic Games. When, uh, if you're from Atlanta, you might remember the Olympics were right here in the city of Atlanta, um, not too far from this location. Uh, but what we did as a company, we did a little salute to folk art, uh, folk art on how countries coming to Atlanta would take our iconic image, which is the contour bottle, bring it to life in their culture. This wood one is actually carved out of a bark of a tree from Papua New Guinea. And then this high one is going to be from um, Portugal. Oh, okay. Now over here, um, I'll point out all this items. So There's going to be that white syrup dispenser, which does date back to 1896. Now that bottle that right there does date back to 1896. So um, it was actually your first vending machine. The way it'll operate was you put a gallon of syrup in the bowl, one ounce of syrup, five ounces of liquor, and it's over the water. Now over here, we did say drink Coca-Cola five cents. That was the price of a Coke from the year 1886 all the way to 1956. Um, and then we kept that price. We only raised it one extra penny in 1956. 
So it went from six cents, I mean five cents to six cents. Now, if anybody wants to cre create our fashion of the 70s right over here with these wonderful little beach pants, back to 1972, what we did back then, I guess I'll date myself since I remember that year, we sent in $2.98 with a proof of purchase. We got those mailed to our house. You got a big old floppy hat and a bag to go along with it. So all you young folks out there, guess what? You get to recreate our fashion of the 70s because we sell those in our retail store today. But guess what? They won't be $2.98 anymore. So mm. times have changed. So uh, mm. things have also changed there for you. Uh, but look around. As you see some of these posters right up over here, we have some posters from Korea. Uh, the couple behind you on the beach is from uh, Germany. Uh, the woman over here when you first came in, that's also in German, but it's from Switzerland um, there for you. So we have about 20 different languages in here. We're in every country except for two countries. So welcome on in. Uh, the leaders, so head on down those stairs. Once you reach the bottom, please feel free to grab a photo in front of any of the three gold car bottles that we have at the bottom of the theater. But if not, that is A-OK. -okay. Just head on down that tunnel and begin your journey to the world of Coca-Cola. Y'all are y'all scared of what? Test your mix. Cause we in black and white.
Head. I'm gonna take that head. I'm gonna hide it. I'm gonna throw it away. No, I am. I'm sick of it. Because it is. No, it's not. It is. No, it really is. Oh, okay, yeah, let's go ahead and get the show started. Welcome, my name is Lewis, and welcome into our chamber room. This chamber room consists of this vault, which contains the original recipe for Coca-Cola inside of it. So let's just tell you how this original recipe got into this bank vault. In 1919, A.C.G. Candler sold the secret formula to a group of investors called the Woodruff Group. Before he sold it to him, he put the formula on paper because before then, the secret formula was in his head. As you went through the triangular room, did all y'all see the triangular room? Mm -hmm. That's where he kept it. He didn't trust nobody, took the labels off the bottles, hid the purchasing orders, so no one gets to know the secret formula. But he sold it in 1919, and then he put it on paper so that the group of investors he sold it to, the Woodruff Group, used it to get a $25 million loan at the Guaranteed Bank in New York City. They paid off this loan in six years. So by 1925, the loan was paid for, and then they brought the formula back to Atlanta, Georgia, because Coca-Cola was founded here in Atlanta. They put it in the trust company bank, but you know it today as SunTrust Bank. And now it's known today as Truist. In their bank vault for 86 years, and then they brought it here to the world of Coca-Cola, in December of 2011, it was our 125th anniversary. So you're welcome to get a couple of group selfies. We ask that you please keep face covering on and please do not step on the red strike line. Milestones of Refreshment is our history exhibit for Coca-Cola. Dr. Pimpleton was a pharmacist. So you'll see all that old pharmacist material in the next exhibit. Happy holidays, enjoy the rest of your day here at the world of Coca-Cola. What did you say? Uh oh. You, you gotta keep it on your hand, Pepe. You on your arm. Are you okay?
strings. That was bad scent, my dream. Get you a cold pop. <laughs> what they say? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That sound like me. <laughs> Come on, girl. Y'all so silly. the different sodas. Dang. I don't know how they sell that much soda. You just saying in the middle of the spot uh, ever anywhere. Really? Really? Our best selling brand. You do. <laughs> what are you getting mad for?
we just left off from watching the Coca-Cola um, film, a 3D movie, and it was so nice. It was like, what, five minutes? And but mine, and mine's gonna fall off my face. Look, girl. You just complain. But anyways, um, that was a nice 3D film that they allowed us to watch with our um, 3D glasses. But we a lot to go and I think start tasting. What's going on? With the polar bear coming. But anyways, we probably about to go start tasting some of the um, sodas. So I'll hit y'all back. So yeah, they um got the Coca-Cola polar bear out there now. And I'm thinking about us going to take a picture with them. But I don't know. What you think? What? You want to take a picture with the polar bear or? Because, <laughs> first of all, we can't take a picture with it. They got to take a picture. We got to take a picture. I know. He got his mouth open. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the next exhibit. So yeah, this is a nice little experience. Um, Next, next after this, we're gonna have to figure out what to eat because me and Eric ain't eat yet. The kids ate some cereal, but we hungry. All of us hungry. Oh, I like the little butterfly. Hmm. Where's you in the way, boy? It's like a Fendi one. Then they got the one, the tree, the lights. You can't, y'all can't really see it because it's the daytime. Okay, ready? We're gonna see Phantom Three. Okay. Ready? <laughs> one. <laughs> All right, look this way. Look over here. Look he got the picture. I got the can the video. <laughs> Go over there. Take a picture. Okay. Say cheese. All right, look. Look, look over that way. Ready? Cheese. Say cheese. Huh? You said thank you. Oh. Now you have to stretch here all around the world's Coca Cola. Can you do that with me? Okay. I think she's up for it. What's your name? Lonnie. Oh, well, hello. My name is Fantana. If you see my sister around, you tell her I'm so hot, okay? Same goes for you. Can you do that too? What's your name? You tell her your name? <laughs> you can be a fairy too. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got finished playing a game, trying to guess the different smells at this middle table right here. It was, it was fun. Now we're going around smelling different scents. And then the next exhibit we'll be tasting. I decide taste test and stuff, so I won't record this because I'm always talking about to use my hands. Now, this is the last song of the day for me, so they say you saved the best for last, the grand finale, right? Now, Pop, you gotta thank you first of all. You gotta report this because this is the situation. I need your help. Grandpapa is a teacher who's an old army ranger. Instead of guerrilla warfare, guerrilla education, instead of weapons of destruction, instruments of construction. Let mom hold that so you can use two hands. Now here's the situation, Pop. As my name might suggest, the grandpapa. I am a grandpapa. I have a set of twins, boy and girl. When the girl was about her age, she had an attitude around holiday season. We couldn't figure out what was going on, but it seemed to be aimed at Rudolph. Rudolph, everybody loves Rudolph. Rudolph been good for hundreds of years. He let you know the holidays is coming, right? 
So this is what we found out upon further examination. Mm -hmm. Her issue wasn't with Rudolph. The issue is that she's a twin. Her brother get a sweater, she get a sweater. Her brother get an ice cream cone, she get an ice cream cone. Her brother get a bike, she get a bike. But with the Rudolph deal, a brother for three years in a row, he been leading the sleigh, guiding the sleigh. She ain't guiding the sleigh. She want to know what time it is with that, because everything's going to be equal, right? So, sweetheart, come on, you want to play some music? Come over here. <laughs> so, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I'm not Santa Claus, right? And I don't have reindeer. So, instead of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, I thought, how about Boom and Bop, the red-covered conga drums? Think we can make a song about that? Uh-uh, sweetie. You come over here. Come over here. Business manager. Business man. I know how the ladies work, bro. <laughs> ladies is business manager. You see? So, you ready? You give me this, and I got the rest. You the band leader. Okay? Come on. You ready? Here we go. Right? So we gotta keep our band safe, right? So remember, school business, 